I'll do the chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, for you guys inside of the Viewerverse, I'm thinking a lot of you are based inside of the US of A. So you might not see some of these light gems that I've found inside of the UK. Being a UK content creator, always on YouTube, I've come across a lot of channels from the UK, and I've got five little gems to show you. They're not really all about gaming or anything like that. They're just channels that thoroughly entertain me and give me something to watch from time to time. So let's jump on over to the Tinter web, shall we? And I'll get showing you some of these lovely channy outs. chick chicka pow there we are, over on the old interwebs. Took a little while for my camera to come on, didn't it? Anyway, here I am. Hello on the interwebs. So this guy is called Wheelie Yellow. And he's a little puppet. And he zooms around in a little remote controlled car. Causing havoc. <laughs> you actually see people walking past and like, what the? Yeah, it's actually really quite cool. So here we go. I'll, I'll hit up this one. Here we are. Boom. And uh, let's uh, make this a bit bigger. Me again. Living in a van really is the dog's whiskers. Oh, the cat's meow, the bee's knees. But when you're travelling from A to B, not those bees, sometimes you have to go past something like W for wasteland, which is what I will be passing through today. A wet wasteland at that. A WW. It's not somewhere I particularly want to be, but it is necessary for progress. So if I want to see change, then I've got to go. And so, let's go. Look at it go! Friggin' mental! Okay, the driving piece on this one goes on for a while. But then towards the end. He usually Welcome comes back on camera. Yellow. A few people have wanted a little bit of behind the scenes of how I live my van life. So today I thought I'd show you how I put the tent up. First of all, I lay it out flat on the ground, making sure I've got all the parts. Then I put the tent up and it's done. <laughs> to take it down, simply reverse the process by taking the tent down until the tent is then laying flat again. Make sure you've got all the parts. Then to put it back up again. Just reverse that process again, mimicking the first process I showed you just moments ago, and it's back up again. You can alternate between these two processes as much as you like, but only one after the other. You can never put a down tent down, and you can never put an up tent up. Just something worth remembering. Brilliant tips there for tent building. Uh, I think I you'd hope agree. That clears up any confusion. Thanks it does. For watching. Good. Now, if you do watch his videos. Please hit on up whichever one you want. But in the comments, but Captain Steve sent me over. He recommended your content. Yes, that'd be freaking lovely. I mean, at the moment, he's got 23,000 subscribers. And it, it hasn't been about all that long. He's got 60 videos on there. Go show him some love. That'd be freaking lovely. I guess. So there we are. I mean, that little van really does pick up some pace. He's had some terrible accidents. I mean, one of his latest videos, I think he does some r repairs on his little van. But yeah, pretty darn sweet. And you get to see him painting it and fixing it up and putting sticky tape on. But yeah, awesome. Awesome. You can see that I've watched pretty much all of them. There's one that I've missed. Yeah, so I might have to watch that one in a bit. Heck yes. Next up is the digitizers. Now, the digitizers, they go in and around England. They like to visit places that have got mystery and intrigue about them, like Rendlesham Forest with the UFO sighting and things like that. But not only that, they like to visit sort of places that have got conspiracies linked to them, like the City of London, or one of my favourite ones, the Milton Keynes and the tie-ins to the Illuminati. So, yeah, these are the digitizers, adventures in the uncanny. And it's just the relationship between her and him. You know, he's gone and done all the research, uh, Mr. Biffo. He's done loads and loads of research. And then she had come up with some really strange questions that are completely left field. And he's like, um, um, why did you have to ask that question? <laughs> it's brilliant. And uh, sometimes she's, she's doing all the filming and stuff. And he'd be talking, and she'd see a nice butterfly or something. She just pans and follows the butterfly, or this dragonfly or something. And he's like, it's not the adventures of freaking butterflies, is it? <laughs> he gets really angry, but it's just brilliant. Um, yeah, fantastic. Here you go. Let, let me just hit up one of these. Uh, this is them talking about Britain is sinking or whatever. Himself. I, I, I don't know how or why it happens. Um, 
but it does. It's like we went to, on holiday to Scotland quite a few years ago now, and the most beautiful bike ride ever, and Paul managed to break his arm on it. And that's just one example. Uh oh, here he comes, he's not happy. Right, so ask yourselves this, right? Bear in mind that piece of information. But right, it's probably safer for me to stay on the sofa. So she's clearly trying to finish me off. But like, jokes <laughs> on her because I've not updated my wheel since we met. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, your coat though. What happened? Someone said we and that being thrown around like a crisp packet in a wind tunnel. <sighs> that. You look like a scarecrow. All right, you look like a. <laughs> See, I can't even say anything nasty to you, but you, I can, Aww. in your eyes, I'm just words with gummage. Oh, well, yeah, but he was really cool. He was, and he looked like a filthy, dirty <laughs> trap. <laughs> yes, he did. And I've got a theory that he was probably a pervert. Why? <laughs> no, he was always lusting after Aunt Sally. Oh, okay. And he looked uh, like a pervert. True, it, uh, yeah, you and make a valid you point, mate. If someone looks like a pervert, they're probably a pervert of the last, like, sort of, 15, 20 years tall. Yeah, they usually wear Nothing weird jackets, strange head glasses, you know, got strange hairstyle. Hold on. Have affectations like kind of crazy hair or, <laughs> you know, funny coats or something like that or like jewellery or whatever. You know, they're probably some sort of perv. Wait, <laughs> I, that I think he's just realised the penny drop. I don't want the universe to hear you say about probably a pervert because. A, a, I want you to be a nice person. I was talking about Wurzel Gummidge and all the other perverts. <laughs> yeah. You, you know I'm not a pervert. No, I know, but then I'll be with my that Vanilla AF. You, oh, but you might yeah. be with well, my... You know this. You've been with me 13 years. Oh, I'm Vanilla brilliant. AF. I know, but like, I, I want our viewers to know that. Okay, people. Now, when I watch the digitizers, not only am I learning something about the UK, I am literally in tears laughing and my face hurts so i don't know how they haven't got more subscribers than what they have they're on twenty thousand subscribers again go over hit up one of these awesome videos learn a bit about the uk and maybe a little bit of conspiracy type stuff thrown in as a bonus if you like them sound up in the comments let them know captain steve sent you over heck yeah Sorry, I had to wipe a few tears out of my eyes then. Anyway, next up is David Firth. Now, David Firth makes some very sort of dark, insidious animations. And he makes some that are quite funny as well. But um, they're usually quite dark. I mean, if you've got young'uns around, this is not for them. You know, watch this first yourself and make an adult decision whether it's for your young'uns or not. You know, it's, it's a little bit disturbing. I'm not gonna lie. A couple of these I've watched and I'm like, oh my days. I feel a little bit disturbed, to say the fact, to say the least. You know, he's the maker of Salad Fingers. Hopefully you've heard of Salad Fingers. If you haven't heard of Salad Fingers, it's very odd, very disturbing. I like Burnt Face Man as well. He's a um, superhero with a burnt face that hasn't got, hardly got any superpowers. It's just quite funny. There's quite a lot on here. I don't really want to click into them because I think I might have to change the certificate rating on my actual channel if I did <laughs> but yeah it, awesome stuff if you like I mean this is a old oldie school flash animation that David Firth does here and he does it beautifully the voice acting is freaking great as well for each of these very unusual very disturbing very dark uh, one of my favorites is the Salisbury Toast Boy um, that one is pretty crazy he starts seeing beetles, mind beetles in mind pockets, and it gets very trippy, very unusual. But yeah, there's a lot of them there, so go check it out. There's some real short ones that are just, they leave you with a very ill taste inside of your mouth, inside of your mind. I think this guy might need to go see a shrink, but at the same time, this guy's done a lot better. You know, he's got 1.97 million subs. Now, if you do sound off in his comments and say, Captain Steve sent me over, I don't think he's going to even notice. And he gets a wave of freaking messages. So up to you if you want to do that. Be nice if you do. But anyway, that's David Firth. You can see that. Subscribed. Heck yes, I am. Oh, I haven't got the bell on that one. Pow! I want the bell on that one. Have I got the bell on these ones? Let me, let me just double check. No, I have not. Pow! There we go. 
Oh, look at me not belling stuff. There we go. Done. Now, I've got the bell on this one. This is Erwin Saunders. Now, Erwin Saunders hasn't uploaded a video for a good year now, but he's fantastic. I really love his channel. I really love his videos. He's got a little, little channel trailer that he's done over here, I think. Well, where is his channel trailer gone? Well, I can't really find his channel trailer. Okay, I'll find his channel trailer. I'll play that because it gives you a better sense of what he's up to. Okay, here we go. The man who films the fairy world. Here we go. Let's, let's play that. I mean, it's CGI, but you're like looking at it and you're going, is it though? I mean, and the way that he presents it and his his voice and everything, it just adds to the charm. It's beautiful. Very well done. And he does it like in the style of Attenborough in a roundabout way. He actually gives you snippets of information about these fairy folks, tells you their histories and things like that. Just really nicely put together. It's got a real sense of charm to it, really has. Yeah, it's a shame you didn't actually hear him talking. Let me just hit up one of his videos if I can get over to the screen in time before it moves on to something that I don't want to watch. Here we go. So it's, it's a new day today and um, it's actually starting late uh, be, uh, because this morning it was, um, it was raining so I nearly didn't actually come out but then I remembered I had to pick up the night vision camera um, anyway and luckily on, on the way it, um, it, it cleared up so it's actually been quite sunny for the last, it's gone in now but it's been sunny for the last half an hour or so so that's quite good because after the rains uh, they tend to come out because they'll be collecting water and, and doing things like that. Um, so it's 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 quite fortunate really that that uh, rain did occur. Uh, I, I looked at some of the footage that I shot yesterday, and I know. So Erwin Saunders, he makes it feel believable because he throws in all these little snippets of lore about these fairy folks and all that sort of stuff. But he also does drawings of them, which if you join his Patreon and stuff like that, I don't know whether it's still the same case now because he hasn't uploaded in a year. But he used to be able to get like three little drawings that he'd done and write-ups that he had done. Freaking awesome stuff. Very cool channel is Erwin Saunders. Yeah, there we go. Erwin Saunders, he's got 438,000 subscribers. Now, if you do go and sound off on his video, like one of the latest ones, you know, maybe put a comment saying, please, more. Where are you? Please come back. Do some more. Or let us know what's going on, at least, you know. But anyways, let's move on over. So this, this guy here is Keith Lemon, also known as Lee Francis. So Keith Lemon is like an alter ego. But inside of this channel, he used to do... Um, crafting time so Keith Lemons gets crafty and he used to make awesome like little movie sort of representations of things now one of my favorite videos of his is where he makes a gizmo but in this one he makes a movie quality sort of ET 10 inches high that you can stick on your shelf so if I go click on over here and then here it is Back this is a guy popcorn stuck in my teeth just add some popcorn <laughs> Me, Keith Lemon, and welcome to a bit of movie craft here on Keith Lemon's Doings. Today I'm looking at E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Look at his shirt. Oh, I want that shirt. That shirt is like, oh, that's so cool. It's big trouble in little China. Anyway, I'll, just, I'll move it on to where he starts making an E.T. So here we go. What I do is I always start off with some tin foil. I get the basic shape with tin foil. I've got some eyes there, which I got from Amazon as well. I get, you can get a bag of eyes for about six pound, I think. So yeah, sculpt the shape of ET with tin foil, just normal tin foil that you buy from Tesco's or Asda or Sainsbury's. You can see it's starting to take the shape of ET now, and I'll probably say that in vision now. And there you have it, tin foil ET now. A little bit nervous of the music. I'm using 
just acrylic paints. Very cool. And there he is, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, made out of super sculpted tin foil, bits and parts and bobs and bobs your uncle. That's freaking awesome, Kate! Like and subscribe. Don't see you through I'll see you through window. Good luck with your business. All best. See you later, Keith. See ya. Or subscribe and whatever. I don't know what you say. <laughs> so there we go. And I, I really like his stuff. I really like his alter ego, his personality, that sort of stuff. I know some people say he's a cringe fest, but, you know, I like him. So there we go. That's Lee Francis. He's got 30,000 subscribers. This guy's a freaking celebrity. And he's a talented celebrity at that. I guess you either like him or you don't. But I do. I really like him. I haven't hit the bell on this one. There's probably a reason for that. And that's because he's moved into doing things that aren't so crafty anymore. So these are just like, you know, things that he's doing other than that. I, I like his crafting videos, so I'm not going to hit the bell. But I am subscribed. I do check his challenge, his videos every now and again. But he hasn't put anything into his crafting area for a bit now, which is a shame because I they're the videos I enjoyed the most. But there's a big catalog of them, so you can jump in here, take a look, see. I mean, he's made like um, the Star Wars mask there, perfect for Halloween. I don't know where his Gizmo video is. Oh, there's one making a Barbie car for Gizmo. Oh, there it is, Gizmo making Gizmo. That's one of my favourite ones. Yeah, so go hit them up take a little watch see you can always leave a comment captain steve sent me over here if you like one of his crafting videos you might like his latest stuff you might want to hit the bell for me though not 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 at the moment uh, hopefully he would go back to what he used to do anyways i've got a cup of tea here it's got a little bit cold i, I re-recorded this i kept forgetting to hit play on my freaking winamp so there's no backing music uh anyway at least i managed to do it this time which is cool if you do like this channel my channel Hit a like, hit a subscribe. Hoping to do more of these sort of videos, Cup of Teas with Captain Steve videos. Things that entertain me that I'm hoping entertain you. And if you like this mug, I mean, look, it's got my mug on the mug. Oh, uh, look, it's got a ship on that side. Check out my merch store. You'll find a mug that's similar or the same. And I've also got my own brew of tea. Hence that, Captain Steve's brew, which you can get at cherizina.co.uk. In the UK, my own brew of tea. They might ship abroad. You might have to email them to ask if they do or don't or whatever. But yeah, it's not run by me, so out of my control. Until next time, people, you've been freaking awesome. I guess you have. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.